everybody, welcome back to Comic Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Batman number 49. The title of this issue is Super Heavy Part 9. It is written by Scott Snyder and James Tinian IV with art by Yannick Pe um, Pequet. Bruce makes Alfred lead him to the Batcave and tells him about the machine that can bring him back uh, to Batman. Alfred tells Bruce that the test simulations result in brain death every time. And that's why Bruce, that's why Batman never went through with them. He tells Bruce he destroyed the memory bank, so there's no way he could get it back. But Bruce knows that Batman would have had a backup to the backup, and he did in the Alfred Protocol, with the backup of his brain from right before the final battle with the Joker. Every time they run it, Alfred ends, ends it as Bruce is nearing brain death. Bruce tells Alfred he has to do what Bruce Wayne would never do, and that is to kill someone. He has to kill Bruce Wayne, let his brain die, and then flip it on again, full power, to imprint it. Alfred refuses, but Madison steps in, and she says that she's always known that Bruce Wayne was Batman, and pulls it to switch, killing Bruce, and then bringing, Bruce, um, bringing back Batman. Now, this was a really well done story. I love the emotional beats of this. Alfred's moments with Bruce were heartbreaking. They were wrenching. I loved how he pleaded for his son. Not his, um, you know, the kid he took care of, but his son. He called him, my, you're my son. I loved that moment. It was so powerful and emotional. And he pleaded for him not to kill himself again. He was like, don't do this, you know. You were finally, I've been waiting all these years, mending you up, fixing you up, just so I can get the boy I always wanted back, and you can't do this again to me. And it was a real heartbreaking moment. Scott Snyder and James Tinian really played on the heartstrings. So I'm giving the story four and a half stars. The art, really good, solid art. I really enjoyed it. I like the darkness at the times, but then it was like bright in other moments, so I really like that contrasting there. So I'm giving the art four and a half stars. Now overall, this would have got a higher rating for the story for me, but the little cut segments of the um, the other iterations of Batman throughout, you know, that could be or would have been, that kind of like felt off to me, like that took away from the story. So, I can't give the story a higher mark, so that's why I didn't give it five stars. But overall, I did give the story four and a half stars. I gave the art four and a half stars. I'm giving this an overall of four and a half stars. I say definitely pick up Batman number 49. If you haven't been happy with Batman to date with the DCU version of him, with the Robo Batman, Pick this up and you'll be happy. Batman is finally back. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know yours in the comments below. Also, like this video. Subscribe to Comic Frontline. Check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater. Check out ComicFrontline.com, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me, The Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and download Frontline Live every week on iTunes for free. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.